All right. What would you say is your favorite place to play a show and your favorite place to watch a show? Because I know those have different. Ooh. Yeah. Um. Oh, that's a hard one because I mean, well, there's so many, there's so many venues that came and went too. Like I, I feel like the Blackshire would have incorporated in there somehow. I really liked watching shows at the Blackshire, but um, yeah, like you can just say your house, Craig. I you can just to. say your house. You know, I would love to say my house, but like honestly, like I liked playing here. The DIY show was tons of fun, mostly because I got to play dress up pretty much. I wore like this gold vinyl leather jacket. And oh, like so cool! And a bullet belt and stuff. That was tons of fun. But yeah, like I'm not even that wild about playing. I feel, I feel almost guilty when I play here. And then watching shows, like I I also can't watch a show here without being like, who's watching the door? Like, so you're kind of working. Here? Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. Working, Am I right? in the way of anyone? Yeah. That kind yeah, of thing. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. But um, like it, current existing venues, I'd have to say my favorite venue to play is called the Office. Just because, you know, it's hot and it's sweaty and <laughs> it's, you know, it's like the, yeah, I think the stage sound is pretty good. You know? It is. And, if, I, and Shiraz I, is an I incredible sound person too. Mix, but I'm, I'm very not picky as a bass player. Um, as a singer, it's difficult. I call the office, I have to say. Um, but oh, I yeah. love that stage and I love the energy that you always get. Like it's such a consistent energy every time you go there. Um, but but going to see a show, I think I want to say Music Hall, but the beers are so expensive. I'd say mm. Rum Runners. Oh. Rum Runners is a good one. It's such a, it's such a, it's I was going to say the beer's the same more. amount there. No, it's not. It's like it's you know. Yeah, it's, I'm it's pretty sure it's still like ten same. bucks a beer. Exactly. Is it? Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Maybe I could just get shitty beer. I don't know. But uh, maybe you uh, know some people there. You played there yeah. enough times. You're just getting the deal. People giving you a discount. <laughs> maybe, yeah. Go straight edge, and then you don't have to worry about the beer prices. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. You walk by Brandon Eighty, just go like he just like points at people. He goes like, "Hey, this guy. All right, get whatever he wants. <laughs> yeah, Two dollars exactly. off on a on a silver platter. Yeah. You got more tickets. <laughs> yeah. Oh my God. Please, that's how you can pay me. That that's all I need. Um, yeah. Uh, well, those are some pretty good choices, I'd have to say. It's tough to choose they're, right well, now for for watching places, yeah. for watching shows. It's been so long since I've done either that it's kind of hard to think. But, I mean, those those are the ones that I frequented so much because, uh, like, when I was doing the hired gig. Actually, you know what? I have to say I'm going to give a huge shout-out to, to Social Bowl Palisade. Playing mm. there is awesome. So any bands that, uh, you know, once this whole thing kind of goes over – Try to play it sociable because also if you're like an indie pop band or something like that, please film your music video there. It's a bowling alley, guys. Like, <laughs> yeah, it's you're right. Oh yeah. my gosh, what a like what a great uh, setting. And I mean, it's tons of fun to play there. They're very like they're they're very accommodating. You get a you get a free burger or whatever whenever you play there. It's awesome. All right, I, that good to know. Like, That's I got lost in thought there and the <laughs> idea of playing a music video there, and I'm just like, oh my god, you're right. It's so <laughs> oh, incredible. Yeah, yeah. yeah, like the bowling ball is going underneath the stage. It's it's it's, it's genius. It's all there. I have to say, the first time I played there, and uh, so I was playing bass with uh, with Serena, and uh, I was like, I, I think I don't even think we were starting the show yet. We were just doing like a check or whatever, and it's like, like I'm just going like boom, boom. And I just hear like, Grrr, and I like freaked out. <laughs> did, did my bass cab just like fall over and it was like no was just someone got a strike <laughs> oh my gosh yeah i gotta deal with that sound like that's gotta be tough being the drummer you're just like what the hell was that noise you know <laughs>